week that seemingly all bad press comes to Meghan and Harry, it makes you wonder exactly what other true senior members of the British monarchy thought to the new arrival within, of course, the British monarchy way back in 2016. As ever, we've done a bit of digging around and it does appear that the late and brilliant, in my opinion, Duke of Edinburgh had his own thoughts on exactly how things were going to pan out, particularly with the new arrival within the British monarchy. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to have your company today. I don't know about you, I just read this um, story online. It did make me smile, in fact, because according to the wife of the president, the first lady, Jill Biden, apparently she has to put lemon post-it notes on the bathroom <laughs> mirror to remind husband Joe, the president of the United States, things he has to do. People have been really cruel online about it. I think that's not a bad idea, is it? Do you leave notes around for yourself? If you ever put the remote control in, <laughs> in the fridge. We've all done it, haven't we? You get a bit distracted. You know, I don't care what people say. We've all got busy lives. We all get distracted. I think it's quite a nice thing for her to do, in fact, you know. I mean, it doesn't bode well that he's the President of the United States, and I maybe wouldn't have said that in public, you know, given that. But on the other side of the coin, really, is it that bad? We all have forgetful moments from time to time. Don't be too hard on yourself, Joe. <laughs> Just remain positive. Hope you've recovered from COVID as well. Not a nice thing for anybody, is it? Let's be honest. Back as ever, though, to your breaking royal story of the day. It's interesting, isn't it, when you think about it? Because, you know, we do know that the Duke of Edinburgh was incredibly outspoken in his time. And if you recall, he really did find it very difficult to forgive and forget, in his words, the shame that the former royal, known as Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, brought to the family after those terrible situations in the late 80s, early 90s, you know. Obviously, for his generation, it was very difficult indeed. Now, it does appear that um, <laughs> the Duke of Edinburgh, and as ever, we have to say, allegedly, this particular story was passed on to me by another senior source, uh, very close within the monarchy, who basically said that the Duke of Edinburgh did have, shall we say, kindly reservations about the former actress known as Meghan Markle moving herself into the royal family. Now, according to that good source, it was really more concerned about Prince Harry because he was seen as being hot-headed, uh, impetuous, and basically just running away with his feelings. How right was Prince Philip? Now, apparently, he took into his council His Royal Highness Prince William because he felt that it will be William's problem in the future. Very wise man when you think, don't you think? You look at that and think, he's bypassed Charles because obviously Charles is busy. He's getting ready to become king one day, sadly, when we lose our wonderful monarch. But I think what's interesting is, and according to that good source, he basically said to William, look, you know, look out for your younger brother. It's not going to be an easy ride and he's going to need your help at some point. Now, I think what's interesting to note there is he famously also said, and as ever we have to say allegedly, that Prince Philip was quoted as saying, one steps out with showgirls, they don't marry them. Now, we're not quite sure who he's attributing that to, uh, but of course it was a wise thing to say, wasn't it, when you think about it. Now, obviously, sadly, we lost the Duke of Edinburgh, and we're not quite sure exactly just what a strong relationship Meghan and the Duke had, because at that point, he'd almost retired, if you like, in 2017. According to Prince Harry, though, they got on incredibly well. But seemingly behind the scenes, even the late and brilliant Duke of Edinburgh obviously had some reservations as to what and how Prince Harry's life would pan out. And as ever, was looking towards Prince William to guide, direct and nurture him. Sadly, one wonders exactly what he would think to the terrible situation that Prince Harry, Meghan, Kate and William have now all found themselves in non-speaking, separated, and seemingly no chance of any reconciliation. I do believe that if the Duke of Edinburgh was here, and obviously in great health, he would have done so much to cement back the family that he truly adored. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.